got Josh Davis today here. You're going to love what he has to say about test blades. Come on in here, Josh. This is Josh from Clipper Pros. Hi, this is Josh, and uh, I just want to tell you when somebody comes into your shop and you've never used them before as a sharpener, one of the first things you should ask them is to do a test blade for you. Use it immediately, test it, do what you can to it. You'll notice, especially on the edges, if it's pulling. Uh, and in that case, the, this sharpener is not probably who you want to use at this time. Go ahead and tell, thank them for their time and send them on their way. If they refuse to do a test blade for you, you just need to send them on their way and tell them thanks for stopping by. The test blade is incredibly important because you get an idea of whether or not this person knows what they're doing. Different sharpeners use different machines. Some of the machines claim to do the sharpening for them. And that means that they're not paying attention to your blades as much as they should. Other machines, the sharpener has to use their hand and sharpen each blade individually. That sharpener is going to pay closer attention to what they're doing with your blade. They can feel the difference in your blades, they can, they're can they paying attention and watching the spark pattern instead of just putting it on a machine and letting it go. So this blade was sharpened with a Traco machine, which is one of the blades that does the job for the sharpener. Now the Traco machine is not a bad machine and it can do a good job, but just like everything else, the sharpener has to understand how to use it and what its limitations are. This particular sharpener did not know how to use his Traco and he ground off the back rails off of this cutter which makes the blade useless. But not only did he ground them off, he ground them off to the point where it actually is sharper on the back side than on the teeth. And that is unacceptable sharpening. So while the cutters themselves are slightly different, the design is the same. And as you can see on this one on the left, you have the feet still on it. So the back rails or the back feet are still there, which allows the blade to cut properly. This one, as you can see, they were ground off. Thanks, Josh. That was good advice for all barbers, groomers, or hairstylists, anybody that uses clippers and clipper blades. Both Josh at Clipper Pros and Benika Shears, me, um, use the Nebraska Blades machine. Other machines will do a great job, but we like the Nebraska Blades machine because we're able to go in there and inspect each shear and work at it slow. And both Josh and I train sharpeners to sharpen on the Nebraska Blades machine or any of the um, clipper homes. Um, you always need to make sure that you sharpen your blades or you have someone sharpen your blades that has a professional machine. It's a special type of shaped wheel that will give you that professional results. Notice that we have a subscribe, like, share. Uh, please watch some of our other videos on YouTube. I've got some links here. Stay sharp and prosper.